Africa have a special scent. For myself, Africa have a special scent. You can really make your money step by step here, but mm -hmm. you have to focus on yourself. Focus on you yourself. You have always to advise yourself, not mm -hmm. listen to many people. Yeah. No, he was cheating on me, so he was the cheating. Yeah, on you? he was having some behind my back. So, Ooh. but me, I cannot take that. You know. So but how did you find out? I see it on his phone. You know. You see it on his yeah, phone. And I was what did you went on his phone to do that? Oh, for, oh, for yeah, the end. <laughs> Disclaimer. 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 Yen kan chira wana. 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 DJ Bleed, Germany. Say home. All right. So now you've landed in Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. Take us through. Yeah, in Ghana we just see the family. Mm -hmm. There, there was a bit more distance to be honest. Not like. Not all of them like they hugged me like that experience in Kenya. You mean their family? Yeah, the family. They was okay. really friendly to me, but not like so open. Really? Okay. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, that's how the family from that man okay. take me, you know? They're not so open. The sisters, yes, they was really close to me, like like they see me like their own sister. Mm -hmm. They take me to the shop, they take me everywhere, you know? They really open with me, but the other family side, I see it like, or maybe they was a bit skeptical. I don't know because I'm not African, you know, oh. <laughs> because I'm white. Why maybe why this man bring a white woman? A white woman home, yeah. Yeah, home. Well, uh, what what came in your mind during that time when you noticed that kind of funny like? Behavior? Yeah, that, that's what is came came to my mind. Maybe oh, okay. why this guy don't marry a black woman? Why he's marrying ah. a white woman? what i understand somehow because i don't have the same culture yeah i don't have the same maybe not the same mind even mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i don't grow up the same yeah that's true so it's two really big different mindsets Mindset. come together yeah that's true so that that time i have already the understanding why maybe they are somehow confused why he bring a german person you okay. know so but after some time they knew me they're more more open with me okay and more friendly, so I think they have to see first how this white person is behaving here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they want to see first, you okay. know. That's for me the different what I see the between Kenya see. And, and Ghana. And Ghana, yeah. okay. So what and what did you do also in, because I remember when you said in Kenya, you visited some small village and you know, what you experienced and all that. In Ghana too, what did what In what, Ghana, what to be honest, do? I don't see these small, small villages. Okay, but what did you do in Ghana? When you were in Ghana, what did you do? Where did you visit and all that? Yeah, we also visited in Ghana some, um, how you call it, like museum like museums, like the story from Ghana mm -hmm. and from some cities. Okay, how long did you stay in Ghana? I mean, in Ghana we also stay like one month. One month? One month, oh, yeah. Okay. We was seeing museums, how was the story from behind, you okay. know, I see some stuff like that. And okay. visit many friends of mm -hmm. the family from my husband that time. And okay. they was all really friendly to me, really, I feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we stay one month and then the time you have to go back to Germany again, I will feel I feel really no, sad again. Don't tell me you cry again. <laughs> I cry again. <laughs> you cry yeah, again. My, my heart and my soul is based in Africa. Oh. So I was really sad again. I want to stay mm -hmm. the same like with the, my ex before. Okay. I want I feel to stay in Africa. Yeah. I'm really sad and then when I come back, we don't know. We will see, we have to plan yeah. because of the money. It's not cheap to go to Africa, yeah. you know. Many people think, oh, okay, white person, she come to Africa now, it's really yeah. easy for them. Mm -hmm. But it's not easy, you know, it's really saving money to visit Africa because you also want to bring something for the family, yeah. some gifts and some presents. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you don't want to go there with empty hands, yeah, you know. Of course, yeah. Yeah, then we go back to Germany again. But I see. I have to go again, you know, that was my focus. I have to go to Africa. Okay. And you decided that you want to go back to Africa again? Yeah, I want to go again, 100%. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Before we go into that, you know, um, uh, how long did you stay also with your Ghanaian guy? With that Ghanaian guy? Ghanaian guy, yeah. Yeah, we don't stay so long because he don't, he's not like, 
yeah, I think one woman was not enough. <laughs> so I when you say one one woman wasn't enough, like was he wanted to like uh, married another woman additional to you or what? no? He was cheating on me, so he was the, cheating. Yeah, on you? he was having some behind my back. So, Ooh. but me, I cannot take that, you know. So but how did you find out? I see it on his phone, you know. You see it on his yeah, phone. And I was what did you went on his phone to do that? Oh, 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 yeah, the end. <laughs> <laughs> I uh -huh. I wanted to talk to someone, uh -huh. one of his friends. Yeah. And he was sleeping, and I wanted to check some pictures. Okay. So I see some pictures from another woman. So after. Just the pictures you see. Yeah, but half naked pictures, you know, not just pictures. Half naked. Half naked pictures on the bed. On the bed. On the bed. Was your ex-husband was was he also on the bed with a woman? No, but she was half naked on the bed. What was us? You know, like mm -hmm. I know it's not someone's bed. You know, it's uh, between me, me and him. You know, uh, the so, bed was your bed. Yeah, our bed, like you know. How? So your matrimonial home bed. Yeah. Then so, you saw another woman on like, top of it, half naked. Like half naked. Yeah. Wow. After he tried to uh, like. Yeah, no, it's not like that, blah, 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 but yeah, I'm not stupid, so I know you're cheating on me. Ooh. So now you have to stand for that, what you was doing. But me, I cannot stay with that. I cannot accept things like that because if I cannot trust you, yeah, there's no future life. There's no future, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not only about sex, it's about everything. everything because if yeah. you cheat me, is in many ways, you cheat this thing you are doing, this not like only to have sex because you lied to me first you are lying and doing things behind my back to do this that's, to do okay. have sex you okay. know so to you that's how you see it the that's moment how I you see notice it. that the person cheat on you or lie to you it means there are a lot of things that he has lied to you about of course it that's have how to you be. see it it's have to be yeah because it's not like you jump in someone's bed and have sex because before you do that mm -hmm. you're already lying yeah, many but, things but, in many ways. But did he tell you that he has sex with the woman? No, but it could yeah, be like after, maybe they didn't have sex. Yeah, but yeah, you are here after he told me that, and I was talking to the woman too. She told me the same. Ah, you talked to the woman? Yeah, I said I want to talk to both. I want I talk to him. I talk to her. I want to hear both ways. So both ways accepted each other. So I know now I know the truth. Ah. So finish, you know. So oh. I decided I go my way. You go your way. Oh, so, so you divorced. That's what I got, divorced. You divorced for him. me, there's no way because if I cannot trust you for this thing, for sex or something, because me, I will be scared if you bring sickness home or something like that, yeah. you know? And because if you lie about this, there are many things you are lying about. Mm. I cannot trust you in no oh, ways again. Okay. And I, I think a relationship is built on many trust, yeah. not only one part, you know? Yeah. So that's why I decided to go my, find my own way. Yeah. The, 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 one story with the Ghanaian guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, I'm from Ghana, but the story looked like really kind of like really sad for me, you know, but all the same, let's move on. Life yeah, goes you on, know, right? I move on that mm -hmm. time, like life goes on. I find myself again, and then I find myself again in mm -hmm. an African guy. <laughs> Another African guy. Another African guy. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> and another traveling to Africa. You that was a third, that's, the that's third what trip I was, to Africa. That's what I was saying. I have to come back to Africa. Yeah. Well, which 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 uh, which part of Africa was he's also from? The third so, one. So the, the third man is from uh, Gambia. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> that time I you really see, explore. You really explore <laughs> African men, right? <laughs> <laughs> that time I, I say to myself, no, not Ghana again. Now oh. I have to take another country. Oh, so, okay. So I start dating this Gambian man. He's really open. He really show me many things in life, you know. So okay. he's, uh, I think, a bit, m he has used more brain in life, you know. Even that time he come to Europe, how I see him, yeah. you know. For him, I see really he's a big man. You know, really oh. big man, how he have his lifestyle. Oh, okay. Uh, Comparing to the Kenya to, uh, and the Ghana the, guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to say everyone is the same, but uh, for him, he really used his common sense that time he ah, come to Germany. Okay, you know, okay. he really used use his mind, his brain okay. to make a future. To make you a know? future. To okay. make a future. Okay. And he don't forget why he, he come to uh, Germany. In you Germany, know, he uh, don't forget why he come. That's what I see many 
Africans forget okay. why they are coming to Germany or to Europe. Oh. The, some of them, if they come from small villages, mm -hmm. if they come, they're like, how I see the. They, are, they are forget the focus, why they are coming. They mm. forget themselves. Okay. Like they only see party, There's, some of them see drugs, alcohol, and then after, they lose themselves. They lose themselves. Wow. And for me, how I see it is really sad. Oh, you know, I because see. how you can forget your family over there. They are there, they are, they are, they are setting hope in you. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of them, they help you to go to Europe, yeah. to go to Germany. They give you money for that, to, for the traveling, mm -hmm. for everything to do that. And then you are here and you are sitting with drugs and alcohol and, for, and you forget everything. Oh. Because for you, I know it's like a culture shock. Like for me, the time I go to Africa, for mm -hmm. me, it's also a culture shock. Like, because I don't know how it looks. Yeah. I don't know how it is. Mm -hmm. And for, for the African people, it's the same if they come here. It's big, big different. Oh, I see. You go, can go party anytime you want. You can buy alcohol everywhere you want. Yeah. And if they see, yeah, okay, these people, they go party every weekend. Let me do the same. Now, now I have the time, I have the mind. Yeah. In Africa, I cannot do that, you know? Oh. And that's the problem. Some of them, they lose their mind they here. They lose their mind here, okay. And then they're sitting here, they don't work. They stay for some government money, but that money is not big. That money is only for, for your food for your shower yeah and that's it for this money you cannot help your family in yeah. africa yeah that's that true. money is only for yourself you can help only yourself yeah yourself wow so and that guy he really he really uses his sense mm -hmm. he come here he start big business he start working mm -hmm. he start saving money he start making big business he start building house in, in gambia oh. and not only one even he buy many land Oh. He do everything step by step. He okay. don't do that in one month, he don't do that in one year. But if you don't lose your sense, you will you can make business here in, in Europe or in Germany. But you have to focus on yourself and don't forget yourself and don't forget your family. Yeah. And you have always to get your own advice for yeah. yourself and mm -hmm. not what other people say. You can really make your money step by step here but mm -hmm. you have to focus on yourself focus on you yourself. have always to advise yourself not mm -hmm. listen to many people yeah um you always have to know why you are why you came to germany yeah. you don't came here for party or yeah. for alcohol you yeah. came here because you want to do something you mm -hmm. want to help your family you want to have a nice life in your future yeah that's true that's why I see this man as a big man, you know, that one, the, okay. ga the Gambian guy. Okay. You see him to be the smartest the one. The smartest one, among, yeah. Among the Kenya guy and the Ghana guy that 100%. you hundred percent. Okay. I see him really big man, you know, so, because okay. he know what he do and he really concentrate. Okay. And he don't have a big age, you know, he's like, now my same age, like 37, 38 years old. Oh, okay. And he have already like five houses in Africa. In Africa, wow. You know, and still land he want to build houses on you know Whoa. because of he really really concentrate that time he come to germany he okay. really concentrate he start really really small oh. he start to buy phones ah uh, first he start work of course you come here you try to find nice work mm -hmm. you go work then you, you of course you have still to pay your bills yeah this one is not easy 100 percent not easy yeah. but he starts small small small, small. He's small first he start with small phones then after he saved some money he sent a car okay you know he start really small business and now he have he's really big he's rich man he's a billionaire over there wow you know for me it's sad to see some africans who come here they want the same yeah Maybe not billionaire, but they want life like that. They to can, have a nice house in Africa, a nice house for the family, for mm -hmm. the mother, for the father. That's normally a dream, you know? And you can make it if you don't lose yourself. Of course, here's a culture shock what, for what, you. What makes you think that they came here, they lose, their, they lose, some of them lose their sense? Is it because of the lifestyle in Europe and, or what? Yeah, some lifestyle because the people here they're not really friendly to you. Not not everyone is helping you. You have mm -hmm. to do it by your own, you by yourself. You have to find out everything by yourself. Okay. Not not the first person you meet here who is going to tell you how to do this, you have mm. to go to that office, you have to apply this thing. Yeah. Not everyone going that to do that here, yeah. you know? Maybe if you're lucky you find someone who gives you nice advices yeah. or good advices. Mm -hmm. But that's not easy to get, you know. So yeah. If you come here, you have to use your 
brain, 100%. 100%. You have to focus 100% on yourself. Mm -hmm. If okay. not, you don't have you don't have no chance here. No chance here, okay. All right. So now let's talk let's dig in more about you and the Gambia guy. Now yeah. we are on to we are on, we are on the you and the Gambia guy now. So you also travel to Gambia, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> 100% <laughs> did, I travel uh, to Gambia. Did you also get married to him? No, no, oh, you didn't, was you didn't not get married. Take us through the first time you arrive in Gambia. Take us through. Yeah, the time we go, I go with my boyfriend because we are not married at the time. We never get married. Okay. But I go there, he picked me. He was already there oh, because okay. he visited his family and okay. me, I, I follow. Ah, okay. I pay the ticket and I go to follow because uh, I like also like to see his family, his okay. mother, his father, his sisters. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I go there and it's a big difference because he have big house, oh, oh, even one big house for the parents already. Wow. He built it only for the parents, Ooh. you know. Then another big, big house for us, like, uh -huh. to stay if we go to Africa, if you, go to you Africa, know. Yeah. He really make it. You can say he really make, he it. make it. He have everything what he need in his life, oh, you know. Okay. He really make it. He have one, two nice cars over there, oh. you know. But this thing is not one year, not two years, not one month. He took his time to do his Really long step. time, step mm -hmm. by step. That time he come to Germany, he's... Let's dig in. Your experience in Gambia. You first arrived in Gambia. It's 100% nice. Mm -hmm. I think I come in like a movie star. <laughs> really? They treat me like a movie star. More more than Ghana or Kenya. Oh, really? I swear. They take my bag straight and they don't even ask me like to take my bag. They help me uh, before my boyfriend come. To the airport, uh -huh. they, they, they do everything for me already. Just people who, who are inside in the airport. Wow! So then my man pick me with the car. Then we go home. Even I love the scent. What you, the scent if you're in Africa? Oh. I don't know if you ever recognize that, but Africa have a special scent for myself. Africa have a special scent. A special. Oh, okay. It's the smelling, you know. Oh, the smelling. The okay. smelling if you're outside. Okay. I really love it. You know, it was dark outside the time I arrived, and it's the scent is like something was a bit burned, or uh, if you buy the elephant uh -huh. the, from wood, they make it from wood. Okay. I buy some that time before ah. I go home. Okay. If you smell them. That's for me how Africa smell, you know. Ah, <laughs> I don't know okay. how, if you know what I'm meaning or what I, I'm I coming know, I from. Get, I get what you mean. Like, so that's why I buy them mm -hmm. because if I'm back home in Germany, I can still smell the scent. Like you smell, I smell Africa. It. I smell Africa. Wow. But now the the scent is gone, you know. If I smell it now, it's not there again on the elephant. Oh, okay. But that this scent is really special for me. It really smell like I'm come home, you know. I see. <laughs> You That's, feel like you're at home. Every time yeah. you step your foot in Africa, you feel I'm like home. you are home. I'm home. I reach. Oh. I feel like I reach, you know, oh. I'm home. Okay. So that's the first thing what is, what I recognize because it was the third time I came to Africa mm -hmm. is the scent. Yeah, okay. You know, I really, my, my brain really remember the scent. Yeah. So, and this connection is like home. Scent, oh. it's like home, you know, I reach yeah. home. Okay. So then we go home to the father's house the next day. Mm -hmm. To the family, I see them there. They are really friendly. They was already really old, the parents, you know. Ah, okay. But they're really friendly and yeah, how the movement was. I was a bit scared if the mother liked me or she don't like me. Ah, okay. You know. So, and the sister, she loved me. I love her like crazy. She was really sweet. She's a Still a small girl, like 17 or 19 years old. Oh, okay. Still stay home. She look after the mother. She cook. She yeah. help everything. You know, really calm and sweet mm. girl. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the mother, the father, they're really old now. So it was really sweet. And I was scared if she liked me or she don't like me, the mother. Okay. But after some time. I see she really liked me. I was even helping cleaning and they don't expect that the white person is going to clean it's or going helping to clean, to clean the house. <laughs> this old woman, she even take my uh, whip to clean the ground. She take it for me because she oh, don't okay. want to see I was cleaning no, the house. I didn't want to see you yeah. Yeah, working, yeah, okay, cleaning yeah. the house. Yeah. My boyfriend said, 
they was thinking every white person have a cleaner in the house. They don't ah, need to clean oh, okay, themselves, okay. you know, they don't okay. need to clean the house themselves. Yeah. I said, oh, okay, that's why she don't like to see if I was doing something yeah. in the house because okay. maybe she feel sad or yeah. because she don't, she don't see that or she think like she think in Europe we don't need to do that. Yeah. So how long, how long did you stay in Gambia? Uh, in Gambia, I stay only two weeks oh, because two weeks? of work and time. Ah, I have to go back here yeah, only back two weeks. Okay, and don't yeah. tell me you cry again in Gambia. <laughs> more than the other two times, oh. even more. <laughs> really? The third time, I really, really cry. I cry, even cry in the mother's arm. You know, oh. I even cry in the mother's arm, and she, even she, she start crying too. You know, even oh. the mother start crying too. Oh, 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 oh. And that really break my heart. You know, even the time I'm sitting in the car, my boyfriend want to bring me back to the airport mm. because he was continuing to stay some weeks again. Yeah. Because of work and business, you know. Yeah. And even the mother standing on the side for the car for me and mm. hold my hand mm. and give me some blessings. Yeah. Okay. For my hand. Yeah. And we both we was crying. You know. Oh. It was really really sad for me to go. Oh. Really sad. For me, it was really heartbreaking, you yeah. know, because my dream one day to to stay in Africa. To stay. One ah, day I want that's to. That's your dream. It's my dream. One day I want to stay in Africa. Okay, talking about your dream, one day wanted to stay in Africa. You've been to Kenya. You've been to Ghana. You've been to to Gambia. And yeah. now you were saying that your dream is to move to Africa yeah, and my live dream. in Africa. One That's day I dream. want to live there, one I want day. to okay. stay there. Yeah. So which of this country or which part of Africa that you would love to, you know, move to? Uh, Gambia, to be honest. <laughs> I want really? to stay in Gambia, yeah. Oh, okay. They used to say it's a smiling coast and that's really true. Ah. It's not like they just said for fun, it's really smiling coast. Oh. Everyone is smiling more than in other countries I see. Yeah. They're really, really friendly. Yeah. Everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. Where you feel the genuinely smiling is Gambia. It's Gambia, yeah. It's more than uh, Ghana or more in Kenya, you know. Wow. Uh, Gambia is more. It's oh, more. I see. That, that's why they, I, I believe it, that they, why they say the smiling coast, you know. Oh. The smiling coast of Africa. They used to say that. I don't know if you hear that before, oh. but they used to say that. And it's really true. Oh, I see. That's why I want to go there. That's and it's not so go. big, the country. It's mm. not so big, but really sweet how they build it, mm. and the houses, the market. Yeah. It's really nice how they make it, you know? I see. So oh. that's why I want to stay there that's one day. That's why you would like to move it there, okay. 100%. And okay. I so hope one day my dream will, will come true. Definitely, you know? of course. Why not? <laughs> okay. So are you guys still together? You and the Gambia guy? No, for now I'm um, for myself. I concentrate what on are you myself. Saying? <laughs> so you break up with Kenya, you break up with Ghana, you break up. Don't tell me yeah. the Gambia guy also cheat. No, no, not no, no, I, no, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. But why? <laughs> but, but, but why? Why know. did you break up with him too? Yeah, he was. Uh, I wanted we stay together, but he don't want to stay together like hundred percent, you know. Oh, okay. And I said, but I don't want to stay alone, you know. I need. I want a yeah, man in my life. Yeah, you are matured now. You know. Yeah, I'm not a small girl. Yeah. You know, um, I want someone who's hundred percent with me, yeah. and I'm hundred percent with him. Yeah. You have my back. Mm -hmm. I want your back. Yeah. You know. So, but how I see is not like hundred percent from his side. Oh, okay. And I don't talk about money. I make my own money. Yeah. I have my own that's business. Why I know you, you are know? the boss. Yeah. <laughs> that's why people yeah. call me the boss. The boss, yeah. You know, that's why I used to say I need love. I need loyalty. Yeah, I need yeah, 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 strong yeah. mindset. Yeah. You know, and focus together what mm. we want. Now I'm on my own. I do everything for my own. Now you say you are on your own. That means you are a single mother. Or what? Yeah, single mother, hundred <laughs> percent. What? I do my business alone. I look after my kids alone. Yo, guys, I make please. My money alone. Nobody should contact me or nobody should call me. <laughs> that I should. You want her number? No, I. I don't have her number. So please, if you are watching, <laughs> nobody should contact me. <laughs> yeah. So the boss. That's why I'm the boss. You know. <laughs> I don't. Need so now someone. that you don't, now that you are not dating any, you are not, you don't have any African man in your life right no. now. Do you still no. have? Do you still have the dream that you move to Africa? 100%. It's not the about the man. The dream is still there. It's not about man. It's not about the man. No, it's not. It's the, my heart is there, you know. Your heart is there. It's not because of dating uh, African man. Okay. It's because of the lifestyle over there, the smiling, the friendly, the hug. Yeah. Me, I compare myself to African people, mm -hmm. you know. So 
It's not because of the dating. That's why I want to stay in Africa. That's why you want to stay in Africa. Wow, nice one. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just tuned in right now. You know, it's all about Africans living abroad. For me, you, I know you ask yourself, but she's not African. <laughs> yes, I know she's not, but I see African in her. That is why I decided to invite her to be my guest on DJ Bleed TV. Well, if you're just tuning in right now, please make sure you kindly subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that any video that we upload, you'll be the first person to get a notification. I'm sure you are enjoying the conversation. Don't enjoy it alone. Share it yeah, to your friends. Let your friends also share it to your family. Okay, hola, the boss. All right. Yeah, my friend. <laughs> uh, it was really nice having a conversation with you. Really enjoy it so much. And I'm sure you that you are watching, you've also enjoyed it so much. Hola, please tell us or advise us what is the advice that you have for the African men that they come to Europe you know what advice do you have for them and after your advice I would like you also to advise the German women also okay. here that <laughs> yes. they, they like they're dating or they are dating African men. You mm -hmm. know, there are something, you know, the mentality is different, you know. Yeah, 100% so, yeah, different. So please, can you please advise, give us some advice. So the, like the first advice, if you come to uh, Germany mm -hmm. or Europe, you have to be really, really open-minded, careful. Don't trust everybody. I know it's really hard if you come here. You have to get all your the information to do the next step, step by step. Concentrate for yourself, not listen too much what other people say, because not everyone wants your best. And yeah, just concentrate for yourself. Okay. And don't follow too much clubbing, don't follow too much alcohol and drugs. Mm -hmm. It's better you leave this thing. And for women, German people, they're somehow not easy what I see. I'm going to say that mm -hmm. I'm German. I don't feel myself like German, but okay. <laughs> German women, they are really not easy. Okay. So if you want to date a German person, I think you have to really calm down. Don't be too much controlling because they don't like that. They don't like that. Because okay. German people or German women, they grow up, they do many things by themselves. By themselves, okay. They don't have to stand by a man to to live their life. To live their life. You know? Okay. So they don't need a man because of money. Okay. So that's why you have to become to more understanding because they are not so easy for dating because of that thing. Like they don't want to be controlled. Oh. They don't want like they have to ask you if they want to see their friends or they don't want to ask you if they want to go out. Yeah. Okay. You know, you have to be more open-minded if you want to date I a see. German person. Like, if she say, yeah, I want to go clubbing, then yeah, I, if you want, I follow you, we go together. Oh, you can okay. say that. And if she said, no, I want to go with my friends. Okay. Or if you don't like it, do it in a nice in way, a but nice not way. in the controlling in the way, control. you know? Oh, okay. That's my advice. Wow. And, yeah. Nice one. Good luck. Well, <laughs> guys, you know, this is a tip of advice from our German woman. I mean, I call her African woman, you know, all at the boss. So if you're listening or you're watching, I'm sure you know the kind of advice you need to pick it and put it in your knees. Well, hola, do you have any other people or friends or families anywhere that you want to say your shout out to? Um, just Aji from Gambia. I want to say hello, greetings. Mm. Thank and in Germany so too? In Germany, yeah, many friends, I have to say. Uh, <laughs> Shokubudi, he's staying in Bremen. Yeah. He's from Nigeria, some friends from mine. And okay. uh, yeah, like you see, I love Africa, I mean, we are friends, you know? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nice one there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know what this one, I'm sure you're enjoying it, but rather unfortunately, we have to end it here so that we move to the next person to also, you know, have a one or two chit chat with the Africans living abroad. That's what the DJ Bleed TV we bring to you all the way from Vasrode City, Germany. So ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, I keep on telling you, subscribe, subscribe, share, don't enjoy it alone, and make sure you spread the news. Don't forget, everything you do in life, make sure you say a prayer before you make a move. Bye-bye. Disclaimer. 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 Kindly please like, share, and subscribe.